Dina, I want to ask you, here we look around and we have great artists like El Steve who are really kind of bringing that calligraphy movement. Have you seen, in, in, like outside of the Middle East, have you seen uh, attention to your work? Well, this is the exciting things about it actually, and this is actually one of the, my, my objective when I started doing calligraphy. I wanted to, to make a lot of people be interested in the, in, in the culture without, without forcing them to, to, uh, to, love, to love it. So the, the only way you can bring it is to have to bring it in a way that is very appealing, very attractive. Uh, luckily, when I, when I started doing my style, bringing some artworks that people can relate to, bring some uh, uh, like a, a technology or something that people can connect with, like bringing the, uh, bringing the uh, metaverse, the AR, the, the VR, and the NFTs, and also uh, doing doing live art like as a, a, in public. This also brings people more close to the uh, to the uh, Arabic calligraphy. Uh, the good thing is after like when when I started uh, uh, like putting my artwork in my social media, I found a lot of. Uh, like calligraphers from all around the world, not just in the Arab world, uh, in, from Europe, from America, from so, uh, even South America, they, 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 they send me messages, they tell me that you inspired us to, to, work, to do uh, calligraphy, you inspired us with your style, with your, what, what you do to, 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 like, to motivate us to, be, to bring something really creative to the, uh, to the uh, art scene. And that's something was uh, it was a really good message to receive that uh, that your work is actually uh, uh, like uh, being appreciated. Yes, yeah. exactly. And what platforms do you use? Like, how do you monetize your skills? Uh, uh, mostly, I like when I uh, I, I use uh, uh, the for for the social media. I mostly I post my uh, my artwork on Instagram. Uh, Instagram has been really good for, for my because I used I started doing the like the full uh, uh, full artwork and uh, uh, as a video as a like a, it's considered like a live art but on uh, on social media uh, this was this brought a lot of attention from from the audience to see that an artwork like from a blank canvas turned to a, to an art piece in, in maybe like a 30, 30 seconds or one minute. Uh, it, it takes in, in in real life maybe one hour or two hours. But, but when they see it brought in front of them in this in, in this time, they can connect with more. Especially if you can bring some elements that people can connect with, even from from uh, our culture or from uh, international culture, like bringing, for example, like drawing a, a horse in Arabic calligraphy. That a lot of people are. are, are like horse lovers from all around the world, they will connect with this artwork. If you do like a falcon or like a, an eagle or whatever kind of an animal, a lot of people they can also con uh, connect with. So, and uh, for me, it's one also one, one of my favorite uh, things that I like to, uh, to bring with my art style are the geometric shapes. And you know that uh, geometric shapes is always like have this kind of like appealing uh, uh, to uh, a lot of uh, audience. And Islamic geometric shapes are a part of like Islamic yes. art, and the root of Islamic art. Definitely, that was like a very uh, important uh, like element in my uh, in my art. Roshni, I want to 